What's up, YouTubers? Welcome to another Destination d -Row video. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about AdSense, and I'm gonna explain everything you need to know about YouTube Partner Program and AdSense. So what exactly is AdSense? AdSense is a Google-run software program that puts interactive ads into websites, blogs, and YouTube videos. AdSense also is able to personalize ads based off of user data. This can actually help increase ad engagement and revenue. All right, so you've been making some YouTube videos, you're above 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, you have no copyright strikes. Um, you're going to apply for the YouTube Partner Program, which allows you to monetize videos. When you enroll in the YouTube Partner Program, you're going to be asked to sign up for AdSense. AdSense is the program that is owned by Google as well as YouTube um, that basically is where your pool of ad revenue goes, the finances that you actually earn from all of the ads. You can actually link other ad sources as well, like a blog. You can link everything YouTube, a blog, to one particular AdSense account. So if you're watching this video as a new YouTuber or a small YouTuber, check out our other video on tips and techniques. Uh, this video is about AdSense and revenue. When I first started using AdSense, I was a little confused. I didn't really know much about the process on retrieving money uh, and how much I'd get paid for certain YouTube videos. So hopefully this video is gonna help you guys with that information. So though AdSense and YouTube are both owned by Google, they're technically separate. AdSense is the final revenue net profit that you would get after everything and valid views are taken away and after YouTube has a chance to go through and make sure that all of the ads that were clicked you get compensated for and any invalid things are thrown away. So that's the final net that you um, have that would actually go into your bank account. In order to get paid from AdSense, you need over $100 first. So if you have 20 or $30, you have to wait until you get $100 to even cash out. So the AdSense revenue is actually not finalized till the 15th of the following month. So let's say for example, you have your October amount maybe on YouTube says you have 100. It's not gonna be finalized until November 15th. In November 15th, it should hit your account. One note, um, the YouTube analytic projected revenue is not 100% accurate. Uh, the only thing that's accurate is what finally hits your AdSense account after everything has been looked at. All right, so let's go check out the AdSense website. All right, so when you're done creating your AdSense account, you have the homepage here. So uh, you just sign in, put in your Google information. Obviously, if you're already signed in, it'll go right to your page. So once you log into AdSense, this is your homepage dashboard. To the left, you have various tabs. Um, the ads and sites tab is for people with blogs and websites and they want to put ads into those. So if you're here for that, um, you want to check out another tutorial. This is really just for AdSense um, and YouTube. You have blocking controls, but um, there's a couple different ways that you can access your performance reports or your YouTube data. You have the reports tab here and you have this tab here, view report, and you also can... Uh, check out your performance here. So it all brings you to the same spot right here, this report tab. Um, let's back out for a second. So up here is your estimated earnings, which is projected. However, this never updates for me, and I do not know why. I've had ads since, uh, since September, and it has not updated. It always says zero, zero, zero. I'm not sure. Even though um, the balance does update uh, after the 15th of each month when everything is finalized. If you scroll down on the home page, you have uh, other reports, but they never really seem to update. Um, and I'm not sure why there's three different country reports. It's interesting in a, a couple different sites. Uh, it's probably for if you know if you have a blog and a YouTube and a website, it probably has different data for the different sources. Over here is the most important thing. It's your final balance, the the uh, finalized Google AdSense balance that you would receive. This may differ from the YouTube analytics uh, revenue estimates because that's the YouTube one is just an estimate. This is after Google's had a chance to look at everything. Okay, so let's start off with the reports, the statistical performance reports. You can access it here, here, or up here. All right, so um, one thing that's kind of annoying with Google AdSense is it defaults to the unsaved report. 
and everything's kind of blank, which is kind of confusing. And this took me a while to figure out, but you just click here and all of a sudden all the data shows up. Um, again, this never shows up, this never updates. I do not know why, I don't know why it's there. Um, page views, impressions, clicks, and if you're not sure what these tabs are, you just go over the question mark and it tells you everything you need to know about the data. And if you wanna see the chart, you simply click. So it's kind of cool. You can play around and, and see. And again, all this information is finalized. The YouTube stuff is pretty accurate as well, but this is what is finalized after invalid or repeat clicks and things like that. Um, you can also customize the date range. So if you come here, you can customize everything. So the fourth to the fifth, and it will give you only the stats for those for that time frame. All right, so when you click on the balance tab, one of the first things you're gonna notice is the $100 payment threshold. Um, so Google requires you to have $100 in funds from YouTube Partner Program in order to withdraw. So let's say, for example, you have $50 in January. You get another $50 in February. March 15th, everything would be finalized and you'd have your balance and your threshold met and the funds would be transferred into your bank account between March 15th to the 30th, somewhere in that range. As you can see, I got paid on the 21st. So this area is where you're going to find all of your last three transactions, and we'll view that in a second. Over here is where you're going to put in your payment uh, information. I have some of the um, areas hidden for personal reasons. In the settings down here, you're going to have um, your AdSense pin and all of your account information. When you click on the transaction tabs, you can see the earnings for the month when they're finalized. Um, so this is where you can find everything. And then if you have a withdrawal, it's also going to be in uh, here as well. All right. So when you click on the manage payments, you can add a bank account, uh, checking savings, and it has a business account option as well. Routing and account number are needed. And then you set it up. All right. So those are the main features from the AdSense website. Do not, do not click your own ads. Be very careful about spamming your ads. YouTube will detect that and you will be uh, shut down for 30 days and that can continue to happen or you can even have your channel revoked if you continually um, hit, click your own ads and things. So do not click your own ads. If you watch your own videos, uh, you can do that. Just don't click your ads, you know, make sure you skip the ads and things. Make sure you tell your kids if they're watching your YouTube videos not to sit there and you know hit buttons because that could cause a lot of problems. So how much will I earn with my YouTube videos? You're gonna find the same answer everywhere you look. It really depends on who is clicking the ads, um, whether people are watching the ads in full. You do get compensated for a skipped ad, but not as much as somebody who watches the full ad. If somebody watches the full ad and then engages and clicks and genuinely purchases something from the the website or whatever, then obviously you'd be compensated more. So, you know, I can't figure out any particular uh, revenue tricks to my videos. I have videos that have 20 views, making more than a thousand views sometimes. You know, it really depends on who's clicking the ads. I will say this, I find that um, the longer videos we have with higher retention generally pay a little bit more. It may be because we have ads in the middle of the video as well um, and at the end, but I don't know if YouTube does uh, pays out better ad company and revenue to longer videos that have a higher retention rating. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed and found the AdSense explained video useful. I hope you guys are more familiar now with AdSense and how it works and all the analytics that are associated to the Google AdSense account. Happy making money on YouTube, guys. See you. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you like and comment and share to anyone who is starting a YouTube channel or about to get monetized. Thanks for watching.